Hi my friends, today we model this part. It is a small part made of uh, rubber. Its name is connector cover. Dimensions are here 60 on 50.1, 65 and we must be careful with uh, some aspects as you will see very soon. I start with this main body dimensions 43.4 50.1 extrusion on 60 and radius 18.3 here and the same 18.3 also here. Let's start standard millimeters IPT first sketch XY plane and dimensions as I mentioned before 43.4 tab 50.1 we have a rectangle and we apply fillet of 18.3 to apply on these two uh, sides. Finish sketch, extrude, symmetric on 60. Okay, then I apply also fillet, but not in a sketch, in a model. 18.3 on both sides. Okay, next we go to the drawing. Next we want to create this feature which is uh, this one and we have dimensions here radius 12.7 uh, position 12.7 and the placement is in a plane at 65 from the back good let's see where is the back the back is here and we prefer to use the plane and to apply the tool plane this was already selected and we move it at 65 then we have a space for creating a drawing a sketch. We draw that contour line we continue with an arc again line and close. Dimensions as I said are 12.7 and radius 12.7 I project this line and I identify I place one to the other point to point fully constrained is this sketch we use extrude but we go to the part you see I select this and I am sure that I create an extrusion to the part. Okay. Visibility for this plane. The other cylindrical construction must be finished here to 
0.3 because it follows some uh, uh, radii so that we prefer to create a plane 49.3 for this dimension 23.8 yes good we know the procedure we select the tool we activate the tool plane we select this plane we move it up to 49.3 okay here we have a this circle we suppose that the circle is tangent to this line since we have no other uh, dimension or uh, placement at a distance of 34.5 good circle diameter now of uh, 23.8 tangent this circle to this line and at a distance from this projected arc of uh, 34.5 Finish sketch again extrude to the part okay this plane is no more interesting now we want to create this succession of uh, two arcs radius 2 to reach the line of 19.4 and to apply revolve this will ensure that 49.3 will be respected let's do this i create a plane perpendicular on this diameter vertical diameter so that i create a an, an axis work axis you see it here and a plane which is based on this plane and this axis at 90 degrees this is the place for a new sketch f7 to see inside we project this uh, line and we draw another one to somewhere but let's place the distance from this point to this point of 65 minus 49.3 And we place the dimension from this end point to this line of 65. Good. Then we create a distance equal with the radius of 19.4. 
divided by 2. We draw two arcs by activating the tool line and be very careful now. Why create an arc and now another arc? Both are tangent, yes? Tangent on end, tangent on the other end and tangent between them. Then dimension of 2. 2 and again not this point but one which is not in, in the middle. Okay. I draw a line here another one at the end and then I connect the two since I have a, an axis I this is not so necessary finish sketch revolve where is the the axis this is the axis. OK. I hide the plane. I hide the axis. And now we have that uh, circle placed at a distance of 49.3. Let me show you. I apply measure which has the shortcut M from Monaco. M from this face to this very circle 49.3. Okay. Now if you take a look at the part you see that this uh, walls have the same dimension a thickness a uniform thickness all over even here from this face to the bottom and we see this also in the drawing where the thickness is 2.4 millimeters. We can create a parameter with this dimension and the name thickness. Let's do this to use it whenever we want. Add numeric thickness is the name. Be careful with the major T at the beginning and the value of 2.4 now we can use this parameter when we want for instance for instance we want by applying the tool shell we don't need this face neither this neither this and the thickness you see is waiting for me. I go to the parameter list and I select thickness. OK. Now I'm sure that we have that uniform thickness all over. Next is another feature which is uh, dimensioned here and we see that it has the length to this plane yes okay we use uh, this radius 7.7 .7.
we select this face sketch on the face then uh, a circle with a radius with center here and the radius 7.7 .7. Two small lines starting from the green point to the right, then from the circle to the green point. This means that they are fixed or that the sketch is fully constrained. Trim of this upper arc, finish sketch extrude this the direction is good but we cannot use uh, to the part because there is no part in this direction the limit is this face this plane so that we use two in instead of uh, two next to this See? Okay. Then we have to apply these two cuts of 5 millimeters all the way through the part you see here. And also here, of course. Yes. 5. This is the face sketch rectangle 5 is the width we place uh, this midpoint to the center of the circle and we make collinear this and line with this line then I copy the rectangle copy to somewhere here paste this point is a double point you see so that I kill it I don't need that point I place I, I project this circle I identify this point with this center point and I make collinear the bottom line to the bottom line good two dimensions are dimensions of this point I delete it good now I apply finish sketch and extrude I select all the rectangle all the rectangle cut all the way through yes okay then I don't need this face I select I finish I apply extrude cut all the way down okay we see that we have two uh, faces uh, larger than we need what is the situation 
you see they are 4.8 minus 2.54 which is the thickness also here a radius 6 good I draw a line on this face F5 to see the previous view. I draw a line from a point which is not a midpoint and to be parallel. It is not, I select the parallel constraint and I apply then the distance between these two is uh, 4.8 minus and now I select the our parameter thickness which is waiting for us then I go to the other face, I select it, it is selected, I project this rectangle and I draw another rectangle as a cut rectangle. hope is okay yes it is then I place dimension here 4.8 minus thickness minus list parameters thickness okay finish sketch extrude extrude this and this with cut and all the way down okay now there are the radius of uh, a fillet I select this line fillet 6 and also six here okay that's good now all we have to add are simply uh, fillets radius 2 here radius 2 inside and it seems to be okay fillet 2 is uh, by default plus now inside 2 here also this also this that two ends this and this now that one shift I keep pressed shift to disable this and I free the shift to select this edge okay good I apply material which is rubber silicone then I select the aspect to be dark gray 
and if you like I apply shaded simply shaded to have the same aspect like this one you you don't see any difference you see I select that two distant elements parts and we don't see any difference let's see what about uh, the volume physical update I select from here copy drawing double click and paste there is a small very small difference good that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye